Welcome, welcome. My name's Eddie Appel. I'll be your lay leader tonight. Welcome everyone on Zoom. Shabbat Shalom. And uh, do we have anyone here for the first time? And your name is? Mary. Welcome, Mary. Okay, everybody else has been here. Well, we have a wonderful service planned for you tonight. Uh, it is a social justice Shabbat, so we have a wonderful speaker. And um, tonight we are going to be focusing on water and our relationship with water and conservation of water. And you'll find uh, in the handout that there are some suggestions for how we can be more conscious of our use of water. And we'll be going through those oh, evening. So let's start out with a song that is very related to water. And it's, you can find the lyrics either on the screen if you're on Zoom or on the first page of the handout, Holy Sister Miriam. Holy Sister, Holy Daughter, where you are we find the water. Where you are we hear the song, Holy Sister Miriam. Bring up, O oh healing, O oh healing water, will follow you down to the well. Spring healing, O oh healing water, holy sister, holy daughter, sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, sing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Holy sister, holy daughter, where you are we, find the water, where you are we, song, Holy Sister Miriam. All right. Now we have the candlelight. If you would please, if you are able to stand and turn to page 120, and we will ask this young lady here to come up and light the candles of Shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu lehadlik ner, lehadlik ner. Shel Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. Please be seated. Please turn in your prayer books to page 138 for Lachado Di. We will sing the first, second, fifth, and ninth verses. And when we get to the ninth, we stand and turn around to welcome the Sabbath bride. No, sorry, wrong. <laughs> That's probably going to happen a lot tonight, so just bear with me. La 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 la
la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la And now you can turn in your prayer books to page 142 for Shalom Alechem. Shalom Alechem, Malachi Hasharet, Malachi Elion, Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim, Hakadosh Baruch. Boechem le shalom, malachi ha shalom, malachi el yom. Mi melech, malachi ha mlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Bachuni le shalom, malachi ha shalom, malachi el yom. Melech, Malachi, Hamlachi, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Tzech 
Malachem le shalom, Malachi ha shalom, Malachi el yom. Mi melech, Malachi ha melachim, Kadosh baruch hu. Shalom alechem, Malachi ha sharet, Malachi el yom. Please stand and turn to page 146 for the Barahu. La 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 Baruchu et Adonai, Amevoram. Baruch, Adonai, Amevoram, Amevoram. Please turn to page. Oh, you can be seated. Please be seated. Please. Um, <laughs> Turn in your prayer books to page 148 for Ma'ariv, Ma'ariv. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher bivaro Ma'ariv aravim. Behochma poteach sharim, ut vidfuna meshane itim, umach alif et hazmanim, um sader et hakochavim, be mishpe mrotech hem, barke kirzono, bore yom velaila, golel or mi pne hoshech, behoshech mi pne or, umavir yom umave laila, Mavdil ben yom uvein laila Adonai tzvaot shemo. El chai v'kayam tamid yimloch aleinu le'olam va'ed. Baruch ata Adonai hama'ariv aravim. Please join me on page 150 for Ahavat Olam. Shokbenu, Kumenu, Nasiah, Lehukeha, 
Venismach bedivre Torah Techa, who meets Votecha Leolam Vaed. Kihem Hayenu, Beorech Yamenu, Uvachem Nege Yomam Balayla, Nege Yomam Balayla. Havatra alta sir, me menu leo la me, Baruchata Adonai, O Hevamo Israel, O Hevamo Israel. Do we have anyone studying for their bar or bat mitzvah tonight? No? Okay, that's right. <laughs> um, all right, then in that case, please turn to page 154 for the Ve'ahavta. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol levavcha u'v'chol navshecha v'chol me'odecha Vehayu hadvarim ha ele, Asher anochim et savcha, Hayom alva vecha, Vashinantam levanecha, Vidibarta baam, Vashivtecha bavetecha, Uvlechtecha vaderech, Ushokbecha uvkumecha, Ushartan leot al yadecha, Vehayu le totafot bein enecha, Uchtav tam, Amuzuzot betecha, Uvisha recha, Leman tiskeru, Vasitem et kol mitzvotai, Vitem kiroshim eloechem, Ani Adonai eloechem, Asher hot seiti echem, Meeretz mitzraim, Liot lachem, Lelohim, Ani Adonai Elohim, Adonai Elohim, Emet. Okay. Please turn to page 158 for the Micha Mocha. Anu ve amaru, 
Adonaim lo Le'olam Ba'el Won't you help to sing This song of freedom Cause all I ever had <laughs> it didn't mute it, but that's what I turned. All right, we're doing really well, everybody. You're doing great. Um, all right, please turn to page one hundred and sixty for Hashki Venu. <laughs> Amen. 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 Ashki venu Adonai Eloheinu l'shalom, l'shalom. V'hamidenu malkenu. Frosalenu sukachlo mecha, Frosalenu sukachlo mecha, Amen. Shelter us beneath thy wings, O Adonai. Guard us from all harmful things, O oh, Adonai. Keep us safe throughout the night till we wake with morning's light. Teach us a wrong from right. Amen. 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 Amen, 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 amen. All right, page one sixty two for Vishamru. Shamru Vane Israel et Hashabat La Asod et Hashabat Doro Tom Britola Shamru Vane Israel et Hashabat La Asod et Hashabat Doro Tom Britola Uvein, Uvein, B'nai Yisrael, Oti Le'olam. Jashed Yamin Vasa Adonai, Ha Adonai. Et HaShamai, Et HaAretz. Vayom HaShvi, Shabbat Vayin Afar. Please join me on page 164 and stand for the tefillah. Adonai sefatai kita ufiya gita hilate 
Hashemcha, Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei Avotenu Vimotenu, Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vahanora, El El Yon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vizoher has de avod vaimahot, who made gulag with mechem, the manchmo beava, Melacho zeru moshia whom I gain, Baruchata, Donai, Magain Avraham, Bezrat Sarah, Atagi Borle Lam Adonai, Mechae mitim atal moshia, Morid hatal, Mechakel chaim bechesed, Mechae hetim berachamim rabim, so mech no flim verofe holim, umatir asurim, umakayem emunato lishene afar, michamocha bal gevurot, umidomelach, melech me meet, umakaye, umat meach yeshua. Venematal a chayot emptim. Baruchata donai, mechaye ha ko. Ata kadosh, vishim ha kadosh, ukdoshim bechol yom lekula la sela. Baruchata donai, ha el ha kadosh. Say Adonai Eloheinu, Be'am Echa Yisrael, U'tefilatam Be'ahava Tekabel, U'tehile Ratzon, Tamid Avodat Yisrael, Ah, Israel Amecha Baruch Ata Adonai Shehodecha Levadecha Beira Navod Navod You may be seated. you took some opportunity for some personal reflection <laughs> during that time. Shalom Rahab al Yisrael am Oh, 
Shalom Nahava Israel Amcha Tasi Leolam Latobe Nechael the Holy John Knoxon, Faith Gabuti. Laura DeLorenz. Abraha Limo Sing, let us say, Ah, he said, Oh. I was supposed to stop to read some things, and I didn't, but we can read them now. So if you'll open your hand up, in is but um Jean
Thank you, Susan. Well, this week's sport viewed as a narrative about Jewish people and water. Next, Miriam dies, and the
to that awareness, we can address environmental problems in a very different way. Since beneath every environmental problem is a spiritual problem, awaiting every environmental problem is a spiritual solution. Drop the stone in the pond and the ripples will reach far beyond you. The Torah is a blueprint for, a spiritual, for spiritual living on this planet. It enables us to transform our daily mundane ways into holy acts. If we can preserve our connection to God's sustaining power in our world of great abundance, we can transform our lives and the world in holy ways. The great sage of Talmudic times, Rabbi Tarfan, teaches that the day is short, the work is much, the workers are lazy, the reward is great, and the master is pressing. I might add, the climate is changing, the seas are rising, the glaciers are melting. We can address environmental issues at their roots if we live according to the Torah's call. And when we get at the roots, we're going to deal with many of the branches as well. When we finally embrace this path as a people, our spiritual problems masquerading as environmental problems will make their way down the drain. And now, uh, it is my pleasure to ask Susan to introduce our, or I can introduce our speaker, Suzanne Lander. We're honored to have you here and want to invite you to come up. Good evening, everyone, and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to those who are on Zoom tonight. As um, Eddie said, my name is Suzanne Lander, and I am a member of the congregation, as well as a volunteer with Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. A previous presentation by a Moms Demand Action volunteer back in 2019 is what brought Hank and I to the congregation, and I am honored to have been asked by our social action chair, Susan Solars, to be your speaker tonight. I would also like to introduce my friend and fellow moms volunteer, Mary, I know those of you on Zoom can't see her, but <laughs> who has joined us tonight. What is Moms Demand Action? We are a movement of parents, students, family, gun owners, survivors, and mayors. People who are concerned about gun violence in their communities and who know that we can do more to save lives. We like to say that we advocate, educate, and legislate. We work to understand the forms gun violence takes, how it impacts our communities, and to prevent gun violence by changing laws at the federal, state, and local levels. Educating people about secure gun storage and the tools available to them to protect those in their communities. Changing culture and supporting other organizations who are implementing community-based solutions. Mass shootings are horrific, frightening, and the culmination of significant atrocities and loss of life in one moment. At the same time, they don't tell the full story of gun violence in our country. Gun violence is a complex issue that impacts every community, and at the same time, disproportionately impacts communities that have been racially marginalized and subject to a history of oppression and white supremacy. Gun violence is an epidemic that tears the fabric of America and includes city and community gun violence, domestic violence, police violence, and suicide by gun, which is often not discussed, but accounts for nearly two thirds of all gun deaths. While California has the strict, strictest gun laws in our country, we still lead the nation in gun homicides. In California, 50% of gun deaths are suicides, compared to 59% nationwide. And 45% are homicides, compared to 38% nationwide. Gun violence claims the lives of 110 people in America and wounds 200 more every single day. The toll it takes on families and communities is impossible to calculate. Today, guns are the leading cause of death for children in our country. 
These statistics and what we see going on in our country right now make our work seem very daunting. But we must remember, this is not a sprint, it is a marathon. And as long as we keep fighting, no matter what, we will see changes happen as we did several weeks ago with the passage of the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act by the Senate and the House and signed into law by President Biden. The bill does not contain all that we or President Biden wanted, but it is a step in the right direction. And the passage was made possible by thousands of moms volunteers who made calls, sent texts, and emails to their representatives in Congress demanding gun violence reform. There were many other groups involved as well. We made a difference and we can't let up on that momentum. And just last week, our California State Senate passed five important gun safety legislations, two of which were signed into law by Governor Newsom on July 1st. Legislation to further regulate ghost guns and legislation to prohibit the gun industry from marketing firearm-related products to minors. The other bills waiting for his signature include legislation that establishes firearm industry accountability, legislation to crack down on the unlicensed manufacture of firearms, and legislation to allow private individuals to sue people who break certain California gun laws. This is the power of our volunteers who worked tirelessly advocating for these important policies. We are a nation of survivors. A survey showed that 58% of people in this country have been impacted by gun violence. Anyone who has personally experienced gun violence, whether you have witnessed an act of gun violence, personally been threatened or wounded by a gun, or had someone you know or love wounded or killed with a gun. You should feel empowered to claim the term survivor if it resonates with you. Moms Demand Action is part of the Every Town Survivor Network. The Every Town Survivor Network is a nationwide community of survivors working together to end gun violence. The Survivor Network amplifies the power of diverse survivor experiences to put a human face on our nation's gun violence crisis. We connect survivors to build community, offer trauma-informed programs and trainings, and provide information on and referrals to direct services. So how can you get involved? Many ways for you to do that. You can be an observer. Examples are showing up at a march, a rally, or a press conference sitting in on a city council meeting, or sitting in on a meeting with a state legislator. You can be a doer. Examples are tabling, doing a Be Smart presentation, meeting with the legislator, or giving testimony during a California gun sense bill hearing. Or you can be a doer light, texting and phone banking from the comfort of your own home, writing postcards to get candidates elected, or to remind people to vote. Other ways are working with our elections. We are dedicated to creating a future free from gun violence, and that includes electing candidates who will implement better gun laws. The Moms Demand Action Gun Sense Candidate Distinction lets voters know which candidates will stand up for gun safety if elected into office. Moms Demand Action and Students Demand Action volunteers across the country have been distributing questionnaires to candidates to ensure that those with the gun sense candidate distinction will advocate for safer communities. These candidates have proven that they will support stronger gun laws. You can also join our Gun Sense Action Network, also known as GSAN. GSAN volunteers take action from home to drive phone calls into key lawmakers' offices to pass gun safety legislation as part of our voter outreach team. Be Smart program. The Be Smart program focuses on education and awareness about child gun deaths and responsible gun storage. It is designed to help parents and adults normalize conversations about gun safety 
and take responsible actions that can prevent child gun deaths and injuries. Every year, nearly 600 children, 17 and under, die by suicide with a gun. The word SMART is an acronym. S stands for secure all guns in homes and vehicles. That means guns and ammunition should be stored separately and locked with only the owner having access. M stands for model responsible behavior. Remember, we are the adults and it is our responsibility to keep guns safe and secure. A, ask about unsecured guns in other homes. When you send your child to a friend's house to play, you might ask if they have a pool and if there's a pool enclosure. If your child is allergic to pets or has a severe peanut allergy, you might ask or mention things like that. At the same time, you need to ask if there are any unsecured guns in the home before you send your child there. R, recognize the roles of, excuse me, recognize the role of guns in suicide. 90% of people who attempt suicide with a gun succeed. And finally, T, tell your peers to be smart. Pass along the message to friends and family, especially if they are gun owners. They're starting a new program this year called School Safety. We will be advocating for schools to implement a threat assessment program, as well as investing in school-based mental health services by hiring a sufficient number of school psychologists, social workers, and counselors. We will also propose that schools move toward equitable practices, such as reviewing discipline practices and ensure threat assessment programs are not adversely contributing to school discipline and working to become community schools by building effective community partnerships that provide services that support students families, and neighborhoods. And finally, the extreme risk protection orders, also sometimes known as red flag laws. When a person is in crisis and considering harming themselves or others, family members and law enforcement are often the first people to see the warning signs. Extreme risk laws, sometimes referred to as red flag laws, empower loved ones or law enforcement to intervene in order to temporarily prevent someone in crisis from accessing firearms. These laws can help de-escalate emergency situations and are a proven way to intervene before gun violence, such as a firearm suicide or a mass shooting takes more American lives. We work to pass extreme risk laws at the state level. We also run educational campaigns to ensure full implementation of the law. That campaign is called One Thing You Can Do. Leaders learn how their local extreme risk laws system works and deliver a scripted presentation to people in their community about it. And I'm happy to say that California does have extreme risk laws. We also engage students. I don't think there's any students here. Maybe there's some on Zoom. I can't see if there are. If you are a student, high school and college, you are a vital part of our gun violence prevention effort. Local student liaisons serve as the primary connection between local students demand action groups and moms demand action chapters and local groups and work to facilitate collaboration among students and volunteers. Student liaisons work with student groups to provide insight on ongoing campaigns, opportunities for engagement and resources. The student liaisons are a part of the local Moms Demand Action chapter and or local group and keep volunteers abreast of ongoing student priorities, events, and activities. And I'm just gonna let you know that Mary is our Students Demand Action Liaison. So if any of you have any questions afterwards when we're having the ONAG, she is the, about students, she's the one to go to. <laughs> As you can see, there are many ways to get involved in helping to prevent gun violence. Mary and I will be available during the ONAG to answer any questions you may have. We will also have a table with information about Moms Demand Action and a list of our upcoming events, which includes several community get-togethers for new volunteers in July and an elections kickoff meeting in August. I'd like to thank Susan again for inviting me to speak, and I thank all of you 
for being part of a very socially conscious congregation. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Susan. That was wonderful. Suzanne, <laughs> I'm a little, you know, I'm a little off tonight. Um, Suzanne, that was wonderful. Thank you. Thank, this has to change. And moms demand action. And moms are very important. And so we need to listen to them and take action. And I happen to know there may be one or two college or high school students on Zoom tonight. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Would you please turn to page 586 and rise for the Alenu? Alenu le Shabbat la don ha kol la teit gudula le otzer breishit shehu no te shamayim. Oop, sorry, le ratzot velo samanu mishpachot hadama shelo sam chalkenu chayim vegor alenu chol hamonam va nafnu kori Lifne melech malke hamlachim hakadosh baruchu shehu no te shamayim veyosed aretz umoshav yakaro b'shamayim mimal mushtirin atuzo ushchin atuzo vegove meromim u Eloheinu einod emet malkeinu efezulato. Kaka tu vetora to viadat hayom vehasheota eleva vecha ki adonai hua elohim bashamayim mi maal veal ha aretz veal ha aretz mi tachat enod vene emar vehaya adonai Lamelech al kol haaretz vayom hahu vayom hahu yie Adonai echad ushemo 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 And now, I will ask Roy to come up and make the announcements, please. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Thank you to our speaker. That was wonderful, Suzanne. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> Reminder about our mask policy. As you see, we're all wearing masks and we are requiring that people continue to wear masks uh, during all activities where we're in person. Uh, thank you, Eddie, for uh, leading tonight's service. Uh, did a great job and uh, please continue to sing for us and with us. Thank you to Meryl Shader and Paul Seavey and Elian Esner for sponsoring tonight's Oneg. Tomorrow morning there'll be Torah study. Uh, not to be shown up by his wife. Hank Lander will be <laughs> facilitating on Zoom. I think you're still going to be shown up by your wife, but nonetheless. Uh, and uh, there's a link on the website uh, that you can join that. Uh, we're still looking for more people to join choir. Uh, and I uh, heard Rick singing earlier. I think he needs to be uh, joining our choir. Uh, rehearsals are 6.30 p.m. on Wednesdays. They're here in the sanctuary. And if you show up, you're in the choir. There's no auditions. Uh, next Shab week, Shabbat service will be at 7 p.m. again and led by uh, Sherry and David Meyer. And that will be both in person and on Zoom. 
and the tourist study the next morning will be facilitated by Sherry. Uh, there's a new fiscal year challenge. Uh, we started our new fiscal year on July 1st, and in an effort to try and get people to contribute early and often, a uh, generous donor has offered to match the first $100 for each congregant giving a Truma payment over 250 in the month of July. So please don't miss that opportunity, and thank you to our donor, uh, and hopefully we can continue to raise funds to keep our congregation running smoothly. Food fair coming up September 18th. That's the Sunday before Rosh Hashanah. Uh, ordering platform is already up and running, and it looks great. Thank you once again, Rick. You did a great job with pictures of all the delicious food that you can order. Uh, and please find some of your favorite items from previous years, and there's even some new ones this year. And we're also looking for volunteers to continue to bake and to help with volunteering on the day of the food uh, pickup. There's a sign-up genius uh, in which you can uh, find some of those specific activities. Uh, this Sunday uh, at 10 a.m., there's a cabbage roll making party. Uh, I'll be there, and uh, there'll be a bunch of other people. If you want to learn how and help making cabbage rolls, show up at 10, and that's a popular item that we sell um, at the food fair. If anyone wants to learn how to make manenas, uh, I'm in charge of Nanana's this year. It's one of Robin Ash's favorites, and she came over to my house and taught me how to do it last year, and I was successful, and so I'm continuing uh, in Robin's memory to make those this year. Uh, if anyone wants to join me, please just send me an email, and we'll coordinate a time to do that. Uh, and Camp Nefesh, which is another social action event uh, that we're sponsoring for the first time this year, will be in our temple for two consecutive weeks starting next Monday. Um, they're still uh, in need of volunteers for driving campers to and from the camp, uh, and, as well as just assisting with the camp counselors. And even if you don't want to volunteer, I encourage you just to stop by, introduce yourself as a member of the congregation, and welcome uh, the members of uh, Camp Nefesh, which are uh, immigrant uh, students that are here uh, that we're trying to help, giving them a summer uh, activity. Um, and then mark your calendars for Welcome Back Barbecue. I know it seems like the rabbi just left, but we're also already planning for her return. And our first Shabbat back will be Friday, August 19th. Services that day will be at 7 p.m., but at 6 o'clock we'll have a barbecue uh, dinner. Uh, and there will also be booths with things about social uh, activities and about the food fair. Uh, about the Nishama program for the next year. So you get to learn about a lot of the activities, sign as a volunteer, and welcome back the rabbi. So we hope that a lot of you will plan on coming on August 19th, but also to all the Fridays between now and then, which are led by uh, lay members. And that's it. Shabbat Shalom. And now we remember. Remember those who have passed within the past 11 months and those whose yard sites we are celebrating at this time. We remember Linda Clark, Bill Jenkins, Bob Unger, Emma Ronquillo Nalangan, Carl Saperstein, Mark Kane, Amy Lustig, Jen Garcia, Etta Brody, Victor Gabriel, Ricky Joe Miller, Robin Ash, Karina Blue, Sarah Lipson, Jean Rubin, Daniel Yoshby, Carol Trachtenberg, Alan Blickstein, Bill McDonald, Judith Spivak, Bernard Elliott Esrelu, Ethan Nava. And we remember those whose yard sites fall this week. Michael Blatt, Pauline Colley, Beth Harriet Dushkin, Elizabeth Dushkin, Jack Esrelu, Carol Schneeberger Garst, Morris Nathan Haslett, 
Ethel Lang, Lionel Margot, Sarah Merker, Simon Saperstein, Priscilla Spice, Spies, Chaim Weitzman, Ben Wolk. Are there any other recent deaths in our community? Or, I think I did burn yesterday. Yeah, that's okay. Are there any other recent deaths or yard sites we haven't mentioned? Okay. We remember our six million. We turn to page 598 for our Kaddish and rise, if you're able. Yit Gadal v'yit Kadash Shmei Rabbah v'yalma divra chirutei v'yamlich malchutei v'chayichon v'yomichon chayi d'chol beit Yisrael v'agala v'vizman kariv v'imru amen v'yehi Shmei Rabbah mevrach v'yolam ulmei almaya Yit barach, vit tabach, vit paar, vit roman, vit nase, vit hadar, vit hale, vit halal, shme de kudisha, brihu. Leela min kol bircha, tirata, tush bichata, venechemata, da miran, vilma, vimru, amen. Yehe shlama raba, min shamaya, vechaim, alenu, vikol Yisrael, vimru, amen. O se shalom, vim ramav, uya ase shalom. Alenu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. You may be seated. Okay, I think that went well. All right, let's <laughs> let's. Uh, we are going to sing to finish up our service, and I think it's a song you've sung before, and you will hopefully recognize. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Thank you. Shalom, 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 Thanks, Zoomies. Were they on? Yeah, they were on. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Usually, can't hear us. I. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom, Jim. Shabbat Shalom, Eddie. Shabbat Shalom, Kimber. Yeah. Shabbat Shalom, Meg. Shabbat Shalom, Bruce. Shabbat Shalom, Anne. Shabbat Shalom, Roberta. 
Shabbat Shalom, Jacob. Good to see you here, though I can't see you. Shabbat Shalom, Sarah, and Shabbat Shalom, Levy and Tabak families. Shabbat Shalom, Heidi. Shabbat Shalom, Heidi. Thank you. You made it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. Oh, I want to see everybody in the, in the square. <laughs>